Here we have three multiplay clutches made by OS Geekin in Japan. They are all designed to suit the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution from Evo 4 through to Evo 9. The three models we carry here at Otomoto are the STR2C twin plate, R2CD twin plate, and the R3C triple plate. This STR2C is rated at 550 horsepower at the engine, which is around double the standard power output for any of these Evo models. It is designed to have a light pedal and be easy to drive on the street. The clamping pressure is 700 kilos, which is only around 30% heavier than a standard clutch. It is also lightweight, only 12.1 kilos for the whole assembly, including the chrome molly flywheel. You would typically use this clutch when you have upgraded the turbo and a normal single plate can't quite hold the power, but you don't want something that's really hard to drive like a button clutch. If you want a competition twin plate, the R2CD is a great performer. It is rated at 750 horsepower at the engine, and you can use it for most kinds of motorsport, but it is still okay for driving on the street. As you can see, it has a double diaphragm on the clutch cover, which gives 1050 kilo of clamp load, or 50% more than the single diaphragm on the STR. Finally, we have the R3C triple plate, which is a bit of a monster. This clutch can handle up to 1200 horsepower, so we're talking about fairly extreme drag or time attack cars. Typically this is used with a dog engagement race gearbox that can handle this sort of power. All three of these clutches are push type, whereas the standard Mitsubishi setup is a pull type. To get around this, they each come with a movement converter like this. Normally the slave cylinder would be facing the other way, so when it pushes on the fork, it pivots here and pulls the bearing back to release the clutch. By facing it the other way, the fork pivots in the opposite direction, so you can use the push type clutch. OS Geek can also use a smaller diameter bearing, which increases leverage on the diaphragm and gives a better feel. Now let's have a look at the inside of the clutches. The STR2C is quite simple, with two solid plates, with a floating plate in between and a floating pressure plate on top. Each of the clutch plates has its own spline, and the floating plates slot into this one-piece housing, which all OS Geek and clutches use. Moving to the R2CD, you can see it's quite a different design. The hub is one piece, so you have one long spline and one set of damping springs built in. The clutch plates splined onto the hub, which gives another advantage as these simple plates are cheaper to replace when you need to rebuild the clutch. The R3C uses the same style of clutch plate, on a solid hub. With really big horsepower, you don't want springs in the hub because they will just get destroyed. Another difference you'll spot on this clutch is the flywheel, which is much shallower than the other two. This makes room for the triple plate to fit in the bell housing of the Evo, overall weight down to 13.7 kilos. Another option with this clutch is swapping the hub for a different spline, such as a Chev 26 spline. If you'd like to know more about these or any other OS Geekin products, go to www.otomoto.com.au and you can find more of the OS Geekin range and email us directly if you like. Thanks for watching.